Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with pdq.com. Uh, today I'm excited to talk about a new feature we have and it's the PowerShell scanner. Uh, we have a lot of different scanners to get a lot of information you want, but PowerShell can do just about anything, so we wanted to make sure that our product has the ability to use PowerShell to its full potential. Uh, so just to dive in, <clears throat> to show an example, if we go to options and scan profiles, I'm going to create a new one, call it PowerShell because we're clever with our names. You just want to hit down in the bottom, you want to hit add, and there's PowerShell in the options right there. And it opens up this window, name it whatever you want. I am awesome because I have PowerShell. And then you can either import a PS1 file directly or you can type out your own script here on this line. Um, <clears throat> you have a place where if you need special parameters or if you're calling a file somewhere, you can include the file in here. Uh, we have the default roll limit to 100. You can increase that if you're expecting more data returns than that. Uh, be careful with that because if you scan 700 machines and they're all returning 500 rows of data, you're, it's going to be a big scan. It's probably going to make your database balloon pretty big. Uh, but just for a good example of how it works, we're going to try to type this freehand live. See how that goes. I'm going to do git acl path and then C temp because I'm clever with my names. <clears throat> We're going to select and expand the access. I'm going to do it on type in here. And then we don't want to catch all information. Basically, what we're looking for is we're looking for permissions to a folder that have not been inherited. So we're going to do where object. And then I believe is inherited. And yes, I'm just reading this off another monitor. And then just equals dollar sign false. All right, and we're going to save this one there. So it's just a single line PowerShell here. We're getting the access level of this folder, and then we're moving everything that was not inherited. So we're just going to see what's inherited on this one. Uh, so we have that created. We're going to you now close our scanner down, go through and find Guinness. Uh, two ends. It's not, not a good sign that I typed that uh, correctly, but we'll find out. Scan the computer with the PowerShell scanner we just built. Uh, it's just going to connect to the machine. It's going to run PowerShell. It runs like any other scanner. It's just using a way better option to do it. Uh, and hopefully when you come back here, all right, so that's finished scanning. We're going to open up Guinness by double clicking. We're going to go down to PowerShell, which is new in our menu here. And we have PowerShell's awesome. We can see JDog Hambo, the recently disabled from a previous video account, has been added without it being inherited. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, this one's just because I, I know I figure probably useful. If it's not inherited, meet someone added it without probably going through the proper channels. It's worth checking for that. Uh, but anything you can think of in PowerShell, you can do in this one. We do recommend, I mean, I type this one in the window there. If you create a file for that and update that, you can have that uh, multiple instances of, of, of inventory using it if you have that one. And that way, if you make an edit, you only have to make the edit once, just kind of a central location. It's easier to keep it all clean. Uh, and, and that's pretty much it. That's a quick breakdown for what it does. But what it does is anything PowerShell can. So if you have something that's like, can inventory do this with, in, with a scanner? The answer is probably yes now. You just need to go through and figure out how to make the PowerShell work. All right, uh, with pdq.com, I'm Jordan.